<laughs> Hello, welcome back. Oh, it's a bit windy out here. Let me pop on my new jacket. Oh, saucy. What's that? Well, thank you very much. Yeah, I do. So, <laughs> this is the new IQ Dog Sports jacket. Firstly, and um, Foremost, thank you very, very much, IQ Dog Sports. But let me put a few things straight. Jacket comes for free, thank you. Much appreciated, not knocking that, 100%. However, I'm not, this isn't a sponsored video. I'm not obliged to say anything. This isn't scripted. They're not gonna see the video before it comes out. If you've been following me for any sort of time, you'll know that I'm not going to just keep my mouth shut and say, oh, it's lovely, it came for free. What gets said, gets said. So. First impressions. First impressions. It feels a little bit like an old school Mac. Like, uh, like, <laughs> get your raincoat, Nando. Come on. Um, yeah, what can I say? Feels, yeah, it does have, it, right. I'll tell you what, let's start at the top. I'll work my way through the jacket and uh, you can pop in, in the comments whatever you think or about certain different parts of it, etc., etc. Let's work. Number one, the IQ standard back jacket pocket. Like this is this is that's the bar now. All right. If you've got a jacket and you're going to send it to me, and it's about dog training. If it ain't got one of these, not interested. Don't send it. Okay. That toys Bosch. Honestly, game changer. You don't want anything without that pocket. So, wallop, done. So let's go through pockets. Nice little chest pocket up here. On the inside, I've got two pockets either side. Both are zip up. Both seem like they're waterproof, which uh, is a great call. I mean, not necessarily out here, but it is windproof. And as you might tell, I'm getting blown away. So that's pretty handy. I've got a hood tucked up in the pocket in my collar. I've got two zip pockets on the side here, okay, uh, with the nice touches. This jacket's still got all those nice touches, right? I've got the little uh, IQ draw, zip draw thing, okay? But it is, it is missing a couple of the nice touches, which I'm going to talk about, so don't worry about that. Oh, I bet that's loud. Quite handy I've got this, isn't it, eh? So, uh, I've got a poo bag pocket with the old poo bag dispenser. Like there's one here, there's a clicker pocket there. Like, I can stick, it's got a poo bag dispenser in that one. There is a poo bag dispenser in this pocket. I've had a little look. I've got absolutely no idea how I get in there to put the poo bags in, but there's a dispenser there. So there's that. So you can handle it. I'm currently editing the video that you're watching. That pocket with the poo bag dispenser, it's not that hidden. So that's awkward. Um, there's no drawstring in the middle that I'm aware of, which makes it a little bit on the old... Uh... Hello. Just a bit frumpy. Um, I'm wearing a unisex large. They come up a little bit small, um, but it's, it is nicely fitted. Uh, even without the drawstring, it's nice. It feels feels nice. Nice. Everything new feels nice, doesn't it? So, oh, here we go. Right, two pockets here. Right, if you watch the vest, the vest video where we go through dog training vests, I say in that video, <whistles> removable pockets. These things. Like, what, what I say, why, 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 just why? The problem is, is when you fit these things, you lose space in the actual pocket itself. And that no one, nobody has managed to get it right. Okay. Now, I'm big enough to admit that sometimes I get things wrong. Because IQ Dog Sports have only gone and fitted a removable pocket that actually works. There's plenty of space there. I mean, these pockets are proper deep pockets. I can get a week's worth of freaking rations in here, all right? There are no worries about not being able to deliver the treats or not having enough, okay? And I can take my pockets out if I want to wash them. 
So well done, you got it right. Oh, oh, oh. right, let's talk about some of the things that aren't as nice though. What are these? You see these, these are epilepsy. It's not the 80s. We don't need fucking epilepsy on our clothing. All right, however, I will say that these are actually designed to hold your leads and they can be very handy if you've got four or five dogs that are going out for a walk and you've got their leads, they do tend to fall off. If you're carrying one, it's not really a problem, but if you've got several, stick them under the epaulet, bosh, you sort it out, right? But they are a bit, they, they've got a bit of a cheap feel to them. Like it's just a little strip of material and a little bit of Velcro holding it in. I don't know. See, and I know from, like, there was a couple of touches like that. There's a carabiner here somewhere. Here she is. Under the replaceable food pocket, removable food pocket. And it's one of those really cheap carabiners. And I'm like, don't put a carabiner on it. Put a proper carabiner on there or don't put a carabiner on it. But the, 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 the finer touches on the other jacket is what makes it something really, really special. Now, because they've removed those points, they've also brought the price point down. Clever. The other bit of kit, the other jacket, expensive. It's that much. This one is that much. However, this jacket itself is a lot lighter than the other one. And ironically, this is gonna be my go-to, I think. I mean, not for very long, because it's going to be summer and it'll be redders, but like, in the winter months in Spain, this is perfect. It's light, it's not too hot, it's um, windproof, waterproof, breathable, like, you can't knock that. It's a, it seems to be a good bit of kit. They, they are my first impressions, okay? Completely, 100% honest. I am going to wear it before it gets too hot and I'll keep you updated. If you like the video, drop us a like, uh, share it. Share it with somebody that you know I annoy <laughs> because I've had run too many coffees in this video, clearly. So share it to them because they'll get pissed right off and there's nothing, there's nothing funnier, let's be honest. Um, what else? That's it. I don't know, say something nice in the comments for once. I know it's dog training. I know, I know that we like to have a go at each other, but come on, you can do it. Give me some love. I love you, bye.